Did you know that there are seven holes in the head? I know you're counting. Ears, eyes, nostrils, and the mouth. Seven. Here are some obvious ones. There are seven days in a week. There are seven colors in a rainbow. There are seven musical notes in an octave before they repeat in a different octave. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. And then it goes back to do. Seven. There are seven seas and seven continents. There are seven virtues and seven deadly sins. In the Bible, there are seven days of creation. Even the more ancient myth of creation, the Sumerian Enuma Elish, was written on seven clay tablets. The Sumerians, who brought us our knowledge of the calendar, the clock, and the constellations, also believe that there are only seven major planets, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They believe Mercury was the sun's actual moon and not a planet. As it is roughly the size of our own moon, it's a moon. In fact, I did a deep dive into this ancient story, reading as many English translations as I could, trying to see if Zechariah Sitchin was correct in his assertion that this story was a story about the creation of the solar system. He was correct. Just a few minor details I disagree with. I did a video about it, the Enuma Elish, the creation of the solar system. And because I painted everything out, I turned it into a book available on blurb.com. Please check it out and consider buying one. It truly is a remarkable story. Turns out the dinosaurs were not killed by a meteor impact, but by a planetary collision. Pangaea was what was left. Crazy, eh? But I digress. Here is the most important one. There are seven laws of nature. Yes, someone in the ancient past left us these seven sentences by which to understand nature. Together, these seven sentences are called the Kybalion. Now, an anonymous group of writers called the Hermetics tried to interpret these seven sentences but failed because they added to their meaning, rather than measuring their beliefs against the seven. By comparing what we think we know about energy to these seven sentences, a different atomic model emerges that pretty much answers everything. Turns out energy is not positive and negative, it is masculine and feminine. As the seventh law of nature states, all things are masculine and feminine, this exists on all levels. It also turns out that math, or rather abstract irrational math, is not needed to understand how energy works, as there is no equation to differentiate between masculine and feminine, yet these opposites exist throughout nature. Turns out dark energy is the opposite of light. It moves inward, unlike light, which moves outward. These two come together to form atoms. Here is an actual photo of an atom. It is dark inward energy surrounding a nucleus of outward moving light. You see, energy is the source of nature, not separate from it, unlike what quantum physics keeps proposing. This seven-pointed star represents those seven laws of nature. I did a seven-part video series explaining all of this. There is a website with all of this information. Again, all of it was painted out, kybalianandphysics.com. If you are so inclined, this book is also available on blurb.com. All this came about by studying the ancient past. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.